Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with what? My 50th DC Multiverse video for 2023 already? Well, today it comes courtesy of again my friends over at McFarley Toys, and today we're looking at the Kingdom Come Batman. And it's called the Armored Batman on the side, in case you were wondering. Fantastic Alex Ross artwork on the back of the packaging and of course here's the barcode for when they start to hit store shelves hopefully february fingers crossed so this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarlane toys dc multiverse straight from alex ross's kingdom come storyline batman and while I got all you metahumans here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, glow-in-the-dark ones, things that fly. Who cares, right? Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. Now, here's Batman taken out of the packaging. And I'm going to save you all of about, what, six minutes this video is. If you don't like limited articulation, turn the video off right now. But you're still here. That's great. Because he has these giant wings. And they're very, very reflective and shiny. And they clip on to his big old exoskeleton harness. And I'll show you all that in a minute. When we get through the basis of this figure. Because the wings are huge. It's a very nice looking Batman figure. I gotta give it to him. It's an excellent sculpt all the way around. It's a brand new figure in totality. They really did nail it. Now, as I previously said... If you like a lot of articulation, this figure is not for you. If you like a really nice centerpiece, display piece, then it'll definitely do the trick. On the back side, he has the Rocketeer jetpack. Check that out, right? I'm going to say, and I look for reference materials, not much going on in the back. It was kind of just like a flat plate. They just added that. Sometimes they do that. Well, they did a lot with McFarlane Toys, just saying. However... He does have a semblance of an ab crunch. He will move around. The backpack does not come off, just as an FYI. The legs were a little bit stuck to begin with. Just go really easy. He's kind of cumbersome to move around because not only are you dealing with this giant, let's say, rectangle on his back, but then you can't remove it and you got to finagle everything. Like he has double jointed knees, which is fine. He's got huge pins just for those of you that care about that. But nice feet, keeps him steady, toe articulation. You're just not really going to get a lot of movement out of him. He doesn't really have butterfly joints, but he get a decent amount of articulation. He has single jointed elbows. The wrist spin, he's got a little rubbery piece right here that helps in the articulation with that. Doesn't get caught up on anything. And the head articulation is not much, if at all, right? He kind of just looks up and down. On the backside, he gets very gappy right there. So I'm not a big fan of it, but it also really doesn't do much. You don't really see it unless you're looking, to be honest with you. You clip the wings on, and you're ready to go. Huge wingspan to this, very much directly from the Kingdom Come comic book. Has a few artistic choices, but other than that, like I said, it's a very nice centerpiece figure. It's a large figure very out of scale i'll just show you that but the wings have some articulation they go up and they go back and they go forward you know what i mean so you get to articulate them you get to move them how you want and it really does look good overall now like i said in terms of the scale it is now one of the largest batmans from the dc multiverse and i'm going to tell you over and over i really wish they would use that speeding bullets buck for just a standard batman that would be amazing and in looking at mongol and a superman figure yeah you see he's not really going to scale with much he's supposed to be bigger he's in an exoskeleton i totally get it but it's a kingdom come batman it doesn't really go with much but maybe a rocketeer huh from diamond select if you got one of those or if you got the funko one diamond select scales a little bit better but uh, yeah these two go together that would make for an interesting comic book, right? So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Kingdom Come Batman. And of course, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending this out to give you guys an early look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now... Uh, I guess I would like to see some more Kingdom Come characters. Superman? Shazam? 
I'm going to have to go back and read that again. It's been years and years and years since I've read that. But, uh, yeah, those are the main ones I remember. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.